Big balls, small balls, does size really matter? Stick with me for today's version of Fun Friday Sex Fact as I review the latest literature. Okay, this is a really fun one for me. And by the way, I'm Elizabeth Wood with Beyond the Bedroom. This, I couldn't help smiling because do we actually have proof that testicle size matters? Testicle size? I thought it was just penis size. But anyway, a researcher in 2014 from the University of Oslo, uh, that's a Norway people, if you want his name, look it up, uh, he put a research paper out that found the correlation between testicle size and infidelity in primates. His basic finding was that large testicles make less faithful couples. Huh, what? Okay, well anyway, According to the research, they could determine the infidelity in the female by looking at the size of the male's balls. What does that mean? The less faithful the female, the larger the ball size of the male and that species. Hmm. Well, you gotta imagine that bloggers and news, outlet, news outlets and the like, they went crazy because finally there was proof that size did matter. Hmm. The study also purported that there were higher rates of infidelity in the males who possessed those big balls. Those with the largest jewels were found to copulate, that means have sex, with uh, multiple and various partners. Okay, well here's the fun part for me as a sex educator. Here I am presenting fun Friday sex facts and some of this didn't make sense to me. So what did I do? I explored more. Here's a lesson, people. Don't believe everything you read in a blog or on the internet. Do your own research because as a fact, I happen to know that there are more than a few uh, primate species that are actually not monogamous. In fact, there are over 300 plus species of primates that don't practice monogamy. Um, they have what's called group sex. So um, the research, actually, there's a, an article that was written in the February 2014 Psychology Today that actually goes a little bit further, saying that perhaps it's actually a language difference. The researcher in uh, Oslo, Norway, was calling it infidelity. And perhaps what he should have used was the term promiscuity. And here in the human species, we think, and we have such judgment around promiscuity. Well, I actually wrote down the definition of promiscuity. It's um, actually not infidelity. Promiscuous is characterized by or involving indiscriminate mingling or association, especially having sexual relations with a number of partners on a casual basis. So for the bonobos, um, for lions, um, and actually even for gorillas, this is a normal behavior. Promis promiscuity and their promiscuous behavior is part of who they are. So what we do as humans is we put that judgment on it. Anyway, back to the bonobos. The bonobos mate in group format. They have a lot of partners, both the males and spe female bonobos and they've been shown to have the largest testicles of some of the primates around. And then with the lions, again, I have to make sure I have my research, when the females are in heat, they may mate approximately every 15 minutes for three to five days, during both day and night, getting no sleep with between uh, up to three to five different males. The male lion has ginormous testicles. The species of males that uh, uh, have sex with multiple partners, they develop large testes, which allow them to produce and store ginormous quantities of sperm. And that is in an effort, if you will, to use the laws of numbers. So we can't quite say that mon non-monogamous primates are actually practicing infidelity. Now, can we? Promiscuity, says the uh, author of the Psychology Today article, promiscuity, yes, but infidelity, infidelity, no, because there are relatively few primates that practice monogamy. I thought that was a really fun fact, and I wanted to share it with you. 
Hi, this is Dan with Beyond the Bedroom, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please like us, subscribe to us, and leave comments below. We always love to hear your feedback on what it is that we are bringing out to you. Have a great day.